Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can have a cool customized theme for your Google Chrome. Okay, the default Google Chrome, it's not bad, but you know, it would always look better if it was something more customizable and just something unique that everyone can have different on their own computer. And to do that, we're first going to download Night Tab. So you go to the Chrome Web Store and install night tab okay uh, well before I do that I just want to show you what the default look is so this is like the default look um, I do have another plugin installed uh, which gives that floral design I'll let you guys know in a minute but basically this is the default look when you open a new tab nothing crazy um, but yeah so what we want to do is first install this and add it to Chrome okay all right it's been added now let's close this and open a new tab so you guys can see this is very different than what the default was okay and now we're since we're here we can customize it and do whatever we like to it so let's say I want to go with more of a purple look okay you guys can see everything changed all the highlights changed purple right um, and then you can add a new group for, uh, cool stuff dev or whatever um, let's add a, well, add, add, it's basically just adding another group, not really necessary to show, but you know, these are collapsible. You can change them up. Um, what is, that's what we did. Now we can change, add or remove, or, you know, reorder them, whichever way we want. We can change the way they look. Just basically what the letters say, you can put an icon, right? Um, uh, just a bunch of different things that we can do. Uh, to make it customizable okay so oops oh x um, oh, I'll keep it so yeah so that's basically you you guys can see um, it's highly customizable it's straight up from the whole look to specific details like the icon and where you want everything to be all right um, next we can do uh, settings so this is one of the other main thing um, so they have a lot of built-in presets as well which I think is really good okay so let's say I choose this red one or pepper you guys can see it's uh, it's like yellow orangish red right um, and then they just have a bunch of different um, selections and the thing about this is the background could have an image in it as well or a gif or something like that so it doesn't have to be like just a static color like uh, the default was showing over here okay um, so let's just choose one uh, okay, yeah, so this one looks good, I think. And you guys sh probably have noticed also that different themes have different, um, uh, different presets have different icon themes. So which one was it right now? So you can see dash, everything is like squared off. So it's not rounded. But then when we go to, let's say the earthquake one, you can see the edges are rounded off. So you can do that kind of custom customization. Uh, as well so you can do light mode dark mode um, specific colors the primary color right I'll, I'll just keep it to whatever it was I don't want to mess around too much with this theme I think it looks pretty good uh, you can choose the accent color um, oops the font radius so radius is basically how cornered off you want him so you guys can see over here it's really cornered which doesn't look good because it's kind of cutting off certain things but yeah there's pretty good in my opinion shadows you guys can see um, so all these effects I would not suggest you do them if your computer does lag right or if your Chrome lags from time to time um, you know this would just make it lag more so I, I would suggest you not do all these effects to it you can do a simple one right uh, but you know just keep in mind the more effects you do the more it will the more resources it'll need from your computer which you know if your computer doesn't have will cause it to lag okay so yeah you can see over here background by theme accent color a video image whatever you want okay um, and yeah that's pretty much it you know you guys can see it's highly customizable you can change the layout of everything the headers the bookmarks uh, data so one thing you guys should also know is you can get a 
JSON file, right, which is kind of like a settings file, um, and upload it, and it will automatically save uh, or load the theme, right? So, you know, there are different themes available online or different JSON files that you can go and find online and then just download it and then um, upload it to here and see how it is, okay? And, you know, people have customize this a lot and you know done their own customization so you'll find a wide variety of different themes available and you know i'm definitely sure you guys will like something okay so yeah that's the first thing and then the other thing i want to mention is this top look over here the floral design in my opinion i think it looks pretty good um what that is called is floral blue okay so you want to just go to the web store again and over here, floral blue, I already have it added, right? Um, and it, it just makes the floral look, and which I think is pretty nice in my opinion. Um, lastly, but not least, um, I do want to, you know, just give up another thing, um, another theme icon thing is called Slate. Okay, so this one kind of, uh, it's more of a preference for you whether you want this one or the floral one. It's kind of just, um, you know, cool and composed, whatever that means. But, you know, it kind of just makes it, um, I guess, more minimalistic or simple. But uh, it adds like this blue tune to it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, you can add this or not. You know, uh, I do prefer the other one um the floral one so i just keep it to this so yeah that's pretty much it you know if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments or other themes you want me to try out you know definitely leave them down below um other than that you know don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and peace out